We don't care what device you're on. We don't care what platform you're on. All we want to do is surface the information and help you do your job better, easier, on a mobile device or a mobile platform. So before we get into Espresso, let's have a little, small little talk about enterprise mobile infrastructure as a whole. Because most of you might think, oh, it's just a mobile application. I want to be able to query a customer. I might just want to be able to query some stock code information, post a sales order on this mobile device. But it's actually a lot bigger than that. We didn't just think about our customers accessing that. We thought about the other users in the organization that might want to use this. So we have enterprise customers, we have SMBs, we have consumers, and the marketing people came up with this very nice word called prosumers. So what that would be is our customers' customers. So your customers, you could give them access to Cispro Espresso, so they could place an order on you without the duplication of work. They could see the status of their order. Your suppliers could see the current stock level and maybe be more proactive in actually keeping the stock levels up or down. So Espresso is not just for our customers. It can be for our customers' customers as well. We looked at applications. The applications needed to have value-added services, right? What I mean by that is we must be able to take this application from a typical user uh, that's using Salesforce automation, is on the road all the time. We must be able to take Espresso from, from, from a Salesforce automation point of view and put them in the warehouse where they can use scanning capabilities. We want to be able to give them productivity tools so that they do one task once or they do the task when they're online or whether they're offline. And we want to be able, we wanted to give them the ability to make top level decisions uh, from a bird's eye overview. So take BI information, uh, put it in a chart. Uh, CEOs and CFOs want to get the latest bank balances. What are the sales figures for the day? We can simply use Espresso to expose that information through to them. Connectivity plays a massive role on a mobile device because you're not connected to the internet all the time. Right? You usually have some 3G connection, some Wi-Fi connection, or usually you don't have any connection at all. Espresso needed to cater for, or a mobile device, needed, or a mobile application needed to cater for all of this. The single biggest thing that administrators worry about is security. Security is pretty much one of the biggest things that I think administrators cringe about, opening up the data to the world. Because if you're on your mobile device, that's what's going to happen. You're going to have to open up that database or, or the infrastructure to the world. And we'll show you how we do that. Middleware we're not too concerned about right now, but uh, enterprise infrastructure and applications and, and deploying the applications to the enterprise, that's what we cover. So how, how have we done this? Well, we support all of the types of end users. We, sort all, we pretty much have a, a vast amount of applications, and I'll take you through a demonstration. Devices. We're not prescriptive on your devices. As we look around the room, pretty much everybody's either got a BlackBerry or an iPhone or a Windows phone or a... Uh, an Android device. They might have uh, a Note, a Samsung Note, or they might have a 10.1 Galaxy Tab, or they might have a mini tablet. Or they might just have a, de a, a normal laptop running uh, Internet Explorer. So Espresso will run on any one of these devices, and will run on these devices natively. As soon as you purchased an app from the App Store, well, that's what you got. So, for example, if you were, had an app that did sales orders and you needed to add six other fields onto the screen or remove ten fields, well, guess that's impossible, right? Because whoever built the application built it in mind of those ten fields are on the screen. So on a current mobile application, there's no customization. What you see is what you got. And if you needed any customization done, well, you have to ring up the developer and get him to build it for you. There was also no third-party integration. So let's say you built a customer query application and you had a separate CRM system, but you wanted to pull that data into your mobile application. Well, guess what? Phone call to the developer. A few thousand dollars later, you'd be able to have this application built for you. In Espresso's very DNA from the very core infrastructure, we've built in this notion of customization, 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 where you can actually tailor the application to your needs. So if you don't use multiple bins, you can simply take it off without having any developer skills. So we have this notion of non-IT customization. We've introduced the App Store a year, ago, a year ago. And what that allows us to do is we now have a community, a community of people who build applications and put them up on the App Store. So let's say you need quite a slick warehouse management tool or a CRM tool. It's available on the App Store. You can simply purchase it from there and it will just 
simply download it and install it straight into Espresso. So you can start using the community to, to, to run your business in terms of applications. And lastly, we talk about security. There's this bring your own device phenomenon that's hit the world. And that's the bit the administrator saying, yeah. You know, people are clumsy with their devices. They lose their phones. They drop it in. What happens to the data on the device? How can I restrict this user from getting more information? He's now a mobile user. I've set up all these thousands of securities and permissions inside SysPro. I want those security and permissions to filter down to the mobile platform. I haven't given him access to the branch. It must filter down to the, to the Espresso application as well. He's not allowed to see the unit cost. All of that information needs to float down. Also, from my administration point of view, let's say today I work for the sales team. So I belong to the sales role. So my entire menu in, in Espresso has all sales tiles or sales applications. And two weeks later, I then move in, I become a buyer, for example. Well, an administrator can push from, from the SysPro screen, can actually push information to your device. So by simply changing his role, we can change the menu on your Espresso menu without the user even knowing. So as soon as he logs on to his device for the very first time or the next time, we can change everything on his device from our central configuration panel inside Espresso.